friends we just saw a clip which was giving a strong message yes yes nothing is impossible anyone else uh, from behind strong belief on oneself yes yes trust on ourselves yes yes there was one clip uh, at one point it was giving that message yes humbleness very true practice yes emmanuel hansel a boy with one hand and playing a game which requires skill of hand and he is unmatchable with one hand entire team is with two hands he is just giving tough competition to everyone he is uncontrollable he is unmatchable with one hand imagine what is compensating the shortfall of one hand what is that factor what you are bringing out self belief practice confidence isn't it so what is more important is it the physical disability or the mental disability if your physical disability is there that is not a bigger hurdle but the mental disability is a bigger hurdle you will stop yourself when you are thinking negatively very very strong message from this small clip that a person with one hand decided to play a game which is primarily depending upon your hands movement it is basketball where your both the hands are important but he is the best player what we saw with one hand and in many fields we see this is getting proved that a person with strong attitude and belief system and trust system self confidence can conquer smaller smaller hurdles and that person emerges out as a strong person whether it is a playing field whether it is academic field whether it is scientific field any field and what yesterday we covered was just introduction today we will start from that point where we left introduction to officer like qualities on first opening day we saw this chetwood credo i had told that day this is one mantra where the officers of armed forces and the troops are following this golden mantra the nation first your people around or the under command people are the next and the last one is your own interest can someone read loudly fast yes your own is comfort and safety comes last always and every time you are actually living for nation society around you and you are committed to your duty duty is worship and you are committed to the national duty this is how you are playing your role now what are the qualities which you will be tested for in your nda interview that is ssb interview after you qualify for written exam and to some extent when you are preparing for spi entrance also a small interview will be there there also you will be tested what kind of person you are are you a genuine material to enter into the armed forces leadership role so let's understand basic qualities which otherwise also required in our life to do well okay we will see out of 15 qualities today maybe 6 7 qualities we will cover today and because session should not be a lengthy one the first group planning and organizing in that there are four qualities you can see power of expression effective intelligence reasoning ability and organizing ability one by one we will see i want you also to participate the first quality power of expression someone from the first bench to read 
power of expression and the ability to express yourself accurately, concisely and clearly. Power of expression is a very major quality that should be acquired by each one of you so as to excel in a particular field. Without the power of expression, effective intelligence and reasoning ability will be of no use. Power of expression is a tool for mobilizing one's personality traits. Okay. This is a field where you are performing a leadership role and that's why this first quality power of expression is crucial. You are tested for that during SSB interview and what does it mean? How should you prepare? Can you be naturally born with this quality? Some people may be naturally blessed, maybe genes, the parents are good communicator and the environment at home is such that you are speaking well. But there are students who did not have that kind of environment, how they will improve? Everyone can do well. It is not necessary that you are right from beginning in school days, you are expressing very well, you are a good orator, you give speeches very well, then only you will qualify. No, that is not like that. You can work upon your power of expression by practicing. This point came, what we saw in Emmanuel Hansel's case, practice makes one perfect. If you practice slowly, working upon power of expression, where the small words, you have to speak accurately, concisely and clearly. Why? When you are leading team, if your people are not understanding what do you mean, your instructions are going beyond their head. You cannot command well. You cannot effectively run that team. There is a chemistry between the team captain and the team. And the biggest communicator or the connecting factor is how you talk. And through that you will be connected. Power of expression is not merely talking also. It extends to your body language. It extends to your qualities. It extends to your personal traits. So that the people below are so connected to you that they follow you wherever you are, wherever you are taking them. One of the best example in the field of leadership is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. You see people were ready to do any mission without caring for their life. What could be the reason? One of that is this also. The way you are communicate, communicating to your team. If you are having power of expression, when you brief your people, when you tell your people, this is our purpose. For this we are doing this mission. Swarajya was a mission and everybody was convinced. Similar thing goes everywhere. If tomorrow you are in army or air force or navy and you are in a leadership position and there is some task in hand and you are not able to convince your team, Mission is likely to get failed because team is not convinced. You enter into the playing field and your team is not convinced what for we are playing, what kind of opponent is there, why should we win and you are not able to convince them, what will happen? Team will not give that much energy. They will not be committed. So how you communicate? You see football matches because they are very, very intensely fought. The way the mentor, coach, they interact with teams, they pump up, they push energy, captain communicating to players. In the field of sports, we see many qualities which are actually seen on war field. So when you are preparing, you have to work upon your speech, how you talk, how you talk to a person, how you address the people. And this is the practice we have started. What is lecture at? Today also, couple of students, new students I want to see. We saw so far first day one student, another day three students. Today we will see two to three students. You must come up and speak because this is how you are advancing towards your journey. Effective intelligence. Just a moment. One last line we must look into. Express briefly and that too with clarity. Remember, brevity is the Hallmark of a good expressive personality. 
when you master this art of power of expression you need not to speak too much because if you start speaking in length the essence of that quality goes down and your people may get bored so you have to develop an art that with minimum briefing with minimum words you are able to express more so it will come with practice okay you have to understand the art and that is why your vocabulary because if it is english vocabulary for the english and if it is a language of hindi or anything you should be able to use correct words minimum words and that brevity is very important okay effective intelligence someone to read gto effective intelligence we break into two part intelligence generally we say quotient intelligence quotient how smart you are how intelligent you are we keep talking about it but what is the use of your intelligence if you are not smart enough to use it effectively and this is tested in leaders this is tested whether your intelligence is of any use or not practical use you may be very very intelligent but you are intelligent in paper you are scoring good marks but when it comes to applying on ground you are com coming under a pressure your mind is getting blocked that is why the courage factor is coming there no matter what kind of situation is there in front of you you are performing much better and that is why that slogan when the going gets tough the tougher gets going a situation will be there where it is very tough but you have to be composed calm very very cool analyze it and then handle it because it is not only you your entire team is going to get affected because of your temperament and that is why this effective intelligence is a point where whenever you are preparing your personality towards the services selection board interview or becoming a leader in your any field you must ask yourself what kind of person i am what kind of situation is this because you see the question asked is what where it is tested suppose a situation is there you must understand what type of challenge is there thereafter analyzing it some of the people around us are not intelligent enough to understand the problem itself so it is probably not applicable to them who are not even understanding the problem who are not able to read the problem situation you are understanding there are situations if 10 people are told to analyze the situation maybe one of them is not even realize what kind of situation is there so you will be tested during ssb are you reading situations well or not because there are tests situation reaction test thematic test where a picture is there and you are writing stories there is a word you are writing some association of your feeling with that word when there is a interview some questions are posed to you your intelligence is actually the fulcrum of your personality but then how you are applying your intelligence is very important there are many people around us who are very brainy but the courage and other factors they are pulling them down because when the situation goes bad they are not good to make it more easy suppose a cricketer is there very talented cricketer but when it, the situation is very tough that batsman is not able to score that should not be the situation okay 
So this effective intelligence is another quality. First is power of expression we saw. How well you can express. How much you are able to connect to your people. Another is now intelligence because in any field, if you are rising high, your intelligence is of crucial. It is a crucial factor. You have to understand situations, challenges, make a solution and then take the team along. Solve the problems of the organization. So you have to read the situations. This is another quality. Theoretically, we are understanding. Practically, we will be applying few things when we will be moving ahead in our course. Reasoning ability. Someone to read? Actions done by a person in his or her life must have a definite reason for the same. Likewise, whatever a candidate do in SSB must have a definite reason and on the basis of this reasoning, uh, the SSB board evaluates the candidate as caliber. 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 There has to be a reason for your every activity. Whatever thought comes to your mind, you must ask the question why. You should have a reason why you are sitting here. You have reason? Why you are doing study period? You have reason? Why you are waking up early? You have a reason? Why you came so far? You have a reason. When you do PT, you have a reason. When you solve some question paper, you have a reason. When you are doing extra efforts, you have a reason. But there are some areas where when it comes to independence, when it comes to an open area, clubbed with other abilities and qualities, there it is tested more. Because here as a group, you are helping each other. You are reminded, you are put into a schedule and you are following a schedule. But when you are liberal, when you are alone, when you are put into a situation where you have to take a decision, reasoning ability is very important. You must find out why. Why this situation is there? Why we are doing this? Why we are going there? Why my team is suffering this? If you are able to find out reasons, because you have to convince your players, people are under you. If your team is not convinced, for example, if surgical strike was there, and if the team captain is not able to communicate and convince to the team what is the purpose of the mission, the outcome is not likely to be success. In your school days, whenever you were team captain and you are not able to convince your team what kind of match we are playing, what level it is, why should we win and you go there casually, your energy is down. And when you boost their morale, when you pump their energy, when you tell them we must win otherwise we cannot go home. You see the difference. The reasoning ability, whenever there is a higher purpose, your energy level goes up, you perform beyond your expectations, the reasoning ability and justification to your subordinates, you should be managing it well. You see how people died for the freedom are freedom fighters because they had reason that my country, my motherland should be free. And similar goes for such kind of field where tomorrow you may face a war. You may face a challenging situation. And these qualities are applicable in every field, corporate field, in administrative field, not only in military. But where a leader is understanding the qualities, that leader is convincing the subordinates. This is the reason why we are doing this and we must do it. There is no excuse and takes the team along. So first, you have to understand these small ingredients of leadership. Reasoning, ability. Whose ability? Leader's ability. Not the team's ability. Because the leader's standard will dictate the team's standard. A leader is weak, team becomes weak. When leader is going up in terms of stature, qualities, 
team gets lifted because team will move around your qualities okay so you have to understand i should have a reason whatever i do and i must be convinced and then i can motivate others you will see the difference some of the people are so dull and what are we can say dead in literal sense they are just alive for the sake of it in your school days also before the 10th exam you must have seen some are energetic they know what is the purpose of my 10th board and they are doing it with some special purpose you see their body language you see their results but some are like parents have put me in my school i am giving that exam the result is accordingly down it is not beyond that person's capabilities it is coming down the optimum level is this coming down but a person who is understanding the importance reasons for whatever he is doing or she is doing the performance is likely to go up you will perform much more better okay <clears throat> the fourth quality is organizing ability suppose you are a leader and you have to organize something let it be a small thing your friend's birthday is there and you are organizing a birthday party and you are giving surprise to your friend there are suppose five friends and one of the friend is having birthday four are organizing in that four one person takes initiative that is another quality as a group that person feels sense of responsibility of celebration of birthday of our team member that is another quality sense of responsibility which will come subsequently and then comes your organizing ability now you want to make it a success that friend should remember whole life the birthday party i am giving a small example you must have done it but then you brought a cake you decided a venue you decided type of cake you decided what to it to be written you decided the flavor of it generally it is chocolate for you all guys then everything is coordinated planned what is that organizing ability and if the organizer or the leader in the team is good it will be a flawless execution of plan and if there is a very very casual approach to organizing then suddenly cake is there you are searching for uh, a lamp or whatever candle you are searching for knife are knife ni lai chhod gaye why it is happening because you did not get into the checklist you did not have that organizing ability forethought vision you must get into a vision as if ki celebration karte samay kya kya lagega that vision you need to practice ki when you are planning something you must be able to anticipate what are the requirements this is that organizing ability and what is the highest form of organizing war one day a cadet goes into nda may become a chief and who knows he is the next manikshaw planning a big war who knows so right from your beginning your small small qualities are checked and these are not very very great things you cannot do it you can do it you need to just imbibe those thoughts okay there is some organizing ability how it is every thing we do we must be well organized suppose you are sitting organizing sitting plan how you sit when you are going for exam organizing yourself a water bottle pen paper pad whatever a person may have different uh, plan to execute everything uh, two persons may not have similar plan this is that organizing ability okay we have seen four qualities today we will conduct in small sessions this is just first we have to see 15 qualities and first group we saw organizing and planning organizing and planning so this first group is a generally a higher level qualities which have got so many small sections which we will discuss through different angle okay now any question any question i will just sum up in terms of these qualities only why we are conducting this session why we are conducting this session you know the purpose apart from book knowledge now your personality is to be groomed you must understand your personality should take shape 
and shape towards what requirement of a particular exam but more than that you have to evolve as a person and get into a leadership role understand it second these are 15 qualities that is not the gospel truth of everything these are some very very deeply thought qualities mm -hmm. and these are benchmark well proven if you start understanding these qualities you may become a better person you may handle situations very well and that is why so many years the services selection board interview is checking the personalities based on these qualities and these qualities can we acquire yes even if someone he feels i don't know abcd about these qualities can i do it yes you can do it and that is why the first video was there that if you are correct here everything can happen and if you are not correct here if your approach and attitude is not correct generally you will be landing in troubles you will be with negative vibes positive vibes will come from positive attitude okay and that is why that first video was there a person with disability physical disability can do wonders because his mental factor is so good he is not treating himself as a handicapped one and as long as you are not treating yourself as a weak you are a tiger there is no question about that you will do best when you are thinking yes pi i have to crack it and i will do it your performance your commitment and your dedication will be above others so start treating yourself differently then only the results will be little outstanding okay no question but i will welcome at least one question one question we should have interaction one question otherwise everything has been understood or nothing is understood interactions because you want to be leaders you want to join defense forces and the leadership qualities we are talking about if there is no question that means here it is not active you feel your brain is active the prove it ask some question no question sir. yes sir why only this 15 quality have been asked in ssb okay see these 15 qualities the question is why only these 15 qualities these are some benchmark okay and how this system evolved first world war germany lost and they designed some method for the future selections and they created a system where they identified few qualities for selection of future officers and it worked well in second world war the results were there they had very fine officers who were selected checking these qualities and their level was beyond some expectations their performance in field in the war zone was outstanding that is a different story some of the decisions of hitler went wrong but the generals under hitler were really outstanding and then britishers also developed this system and we inherited the armed forces all the systems and procedures and ethos and traditions from whom british so we are also following this system but you must understand there must be something good in this system that there is still a belief that based on this system we are selecting future officers and it is working well nothing is full proof there may be some drawbacks but these 15 qualities are general if someone ask me can you sum up in two words i will say these all 15 qualities can be summed up in two words constructive and assertive if someone wants to say sir how should i behave as a good person you should be constructive and assertive some day we will talk in detail so 15 qualities is just a benchmark but you need not to theoretically mug up those qualities you must understand the essence and practice it okay thank you jai hind how is the josh no energy levels is not that much how is the josh much better you will do well with josh high but hosh ke sath hosh mein bolte hain josh aur hosh jo hai na 
इन दोनों को साथ में चलना है फिर सब कुछ सही होता है जोश के साथ होश भी होना है ओके थैंक यू जय हिंद इफ समन वॉन्ट टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन टू अवर कमांडेंट सर यू कैन पुट इट इन अवर कमेंट बॉक्स ओके थैंक यू